Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to do the typewriter text effect in iMovie, something like this one. So now I'm gonna delete this one and start from beginning so that you can follow along. Let's delete it. So the first thing I need to do is I need to go into a application named Keynote. You have it right here. If it doesn't show up on the taskbar, you can press command space and type Keynote to open it. And what you're gonna do is create a new document and you're gonna select the Y presentation and you can delete the default text and in the background you're gonna select the green color so that when you insert into the iMovie you can mix this with the background color you can pick up the background color so let's select the green double click and then you're able to select the green and the next step you're gonna insert a text box into this line so go into the insert and then select text box and you can type any text here that you want to do the type writer effects. So let's say how to do type something like that. And you can change the fonts and the color of the text. So let's say I'm gonna bump it up a little bit to something like 40. And then use the color is yellow. You can change whatever color you like. And to be able to do the typewriter effect, you're gonna add a effect to this text by going to the animate and then select add an effect and you select the typewriter effect right here and whenever you want to play this effect, you can select the play button press play, you're gonna play the effect so you see right now, the text is running a little bit fast so I'm gonna change the duration and direction right here so I can slide it a little bit on the right something like a 5 second and uh, if you want you can change the direction as well right now it's forward which means from left to right you can select any direction like a backward or from center or from the edge or random so let's select the forward because it's the default direction and now when you select play the duration is gonna be a little bit longer so play and you may need to press the play button on the keyboard you see right now the text is a little bit slow in the typewriter effect and if you change the direction to backward you're gonna start from the right like you see right here and you press escape to go back to the keynote editor so let's select forward the default direction and uh, when you're happy with the text content and the style including the font and the color and the duration and direction you're gonna go to export this one into a file that you can import into the iMovie so let's go to files export and select QuickTime format and I normally put 2 as a default value for the go to next line after and go to next view after you can pick up any value that works for you and then the format is 1024 768 is my default and my favorite format so I pick it up and then say next you can put a name for this say type writer effect intro something like this so that you can shoot for it in the fighter and then select export you're gonna create a movie in the quick time format and now you're done so you're gonna go back to the iMovie and what you're gonna do is gonna shoot for that text effect QuickTime video and then import into the media windows in the iMovie by doing that you press the command and space together to open the spotlight shirt and type in the name of the file this is the file so that I just export and you can validate it by see right here you're gonna see the text so I'm gonna import it by drag and drop into the media windows and you can import a background let's use a black one and you can drag and drop the text effect QuickTime video on top of the background you actually can resize the background duration 
and to remove the green color and blend it with the background color you're gonna select this option and select green blue screen so right now the color is blend to the background and you're gonna see it right here the text effects you may see some space right here before the text start moving and you can cut it off by select a space and then select command and B button on the keyboard to cut it and you can remove it now the text is gonna go from almost beginning and you can include the audio for this effect as well so that it sounds like you are typing on actual typewriter so to do that you go into the audio tab in the shirt you can type for typewriter and select one of the three default effects they have for the typewriter you can play it the first effect this is the second one and this is the last one okay so let's select this one and you can cut off the audio as you like and also the background just press command B together for the cut okay and now you can play this one press the play button and then it's gonna play so now you're gonna have typewriter text effect and you have audio as well and if you don't like the black background you actually can insert any image that you like or even the video so I have the image of the vintage typewriter right here I can uh, include it and then replace the black background I can press the W shortcut keyboard to include it and then I can move the text on top of the picture and I can resize the duration and move the audio as well and then I can delete the black background and now my text is gonna run on top of the picture you see right here if you want you can change the color of the picture so that it doesn't mix up with the color of the text go into the effect and change it to something like black and white something like that or even like this one and then now run the text so the text look a little bit more pop up on the picture and if you see that you want to change the color of the text you can go back to the keynote and then you can change this one to let's say white color and you can change it in the format let's say I want to change it to orange and then you can export it again go to export select quick time put the default value is true for the next slide after and then select next and you can put a name let's say type writer and then export and you're gonna create a new video and go back to the iMovie and you can delete this one and import the new one that you have export which is the typewriter effect into 3 you can drag into 3 and then you can drag it on top of the image change it to the screen and blue screen and you can remove the first part of the text effect like we did with the first one and then move it right here so now the text is gonna pop up you see so that's the process of how to update the text effect and change the style like color or font size or anything back and forth between the keynote and then the iMovie I think it's very convenient for you to do the testing and just try it different options until you see the options that you like best so that's a quick video on how you can do the typewriter effect text for the iMovie basically you're gonna use a keynote and you're gonna create a new document on the keynote change the color for the document is green so that you can blend it with the background color in the iMovie you add a text box and include the animate with the effect is typewriter for the text you change the duration and direction and the style of the text include the fonts and the size and when you're happy with the text in keynote you're gonna go into the file export into a quicktime format video and you go back to the iMovie import that video into 
the windows the editor and change to use a green and blue screen and you can tweak the background as the video the photo or the default background of the iMovie and you can include the audio as well to make it sound like the actual typewriter so hopefully that's the tip gonna help you with the typewriter text effect in iMovie if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and press the like button to support my channel thank you for the watching bye